Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug them through the mail for an autograph. I'm diving into this pack of Repack Wax, which I know a lot of you viewers pay super close attention, and you're like, hey man, you already showed us that pack. You pulled real life pirate turned baseball player Leon Roberts. Well, settle down, nerds. You think I made of money? I can probably get a couple returns out of this pack. There's some decent signers in here. Let's draw Mr. Don Kessinger today. Sheesh. Down Pat Donnie was a really good defensive shortstop who played from 64 to 79. He was a six-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove winner. He enjoyed a 16-year career mostly for the Cubs, but also the Cardinals and the White Sox, where he was the last player manager in AL history. And I'm already tired of the Wikipedia facts, so let's punch this up a little, shall we? Hmm, Kessinger, Kessinger, Kessinger. Henry Kissinger? Nah, Kissing... Kissing Booth, yeah, that'll work. Don's real name was Donnie Kissing Booth. He came from a long line of vaudeville era carnies who specialized in running, you guessed it, kissing booths. For just a nickel, you could get a real nice smackaroo from Don's great grandma, the lovely Miss Ezra Kissing Booth. Man, she was a looker. Great grandma Ezra was so famous that she even had her own tobacco card. And little Donnie growing up loved that card more than anything. It was in a little frame that sat on the mantle over the fireplace and every day Donnie would come home from school and just stare at that thing and dream about how great it would be to have his own tobacco card. When other kids were setting up lemonade stands, Donnie tried running a kissing booth in his front yard. But being the 50s as they were, and I'm sure you've seen Back to the Future, a kid with the unfortunate name Donnie Kissing Booth would have been picked on. A lot. But bullies named Butch didn't deter Donnie from his dream of being on a tobacco card. After realizing that they didn't make tobacco cards anymore, he headed over to the local drugstore and picked up a pack of baseball cards and noticed all the cool names like Yogi Berra, Robin Roberts, and Hoyt Wilhelm. That's when he knew he had to be a baseball player to get his own trading card, but Donnie Kissing Booth wasn't going to cut it. So he ran home and proudly announced to his mama that from now on, instead of Donnie Kissing Booth, he was going to be called Don Wilkes Booth. His mom chuckled a little and said, how about Don Kessinger? That has a nice ring to it. She gave him a soda pop and a baseball glove and sent him out to play as a new man. A manly man who didn't try to charge the other kids for kisses anymore. I assume Disney's going to be calling me anytime, begging me to write some movies for him. But I won't forget you little people when I'm a big shot. Look at that, I like it. Here's where I show you how I put the doodle and a couple of cards in an envelope, but I seem to have misplaced that footage. Now I look like a total amateur. Disney's never gonna call. Off to the mailbox. <laughs> Alright, I'm still trying to figure out what a donut bend is. Nice! Sign the doodle. Looks like he tried signing over the white, but it didn't take. Still looks really cool. Sign the cards. You would have known I threw in a 74 tops along with the 79 from my pack if I had my act together. Uh, these look great. I always tell the player they can keep the doodle, but when they sign them, I donate them to Autographs for a Cure. So if you want to buy this one and help out a little with cancer research, go check that out. I'd really appreciate it. Links in the description below. Thank you, Mr. Kessinger, and thank you guys for watching. Free kisses all around. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And I'm pretty sure Disney's not calling, so we'll see you next time.